Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah? All right. Welcome back. I'm really happy to be back. So, as Brian indicated, you need to be my orchestra. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready and willing? I think, let me see, back there, I didn't hear enough. Let's have a little more. Yeah? Okay. Awesome. So, uh, when I sat down to have coffee with Brian, um, Brian shared with me the theme and pattern, and we started talking, and it's like, well, that's perfect. I'm a musician, right? And better than that, I'm a drummer. <laughs> so, I said, you know, we deal with patterns all the time. We see these patterns sprinkled across the page, and we interpret those patterns, and hopefully the result is beautiful music, right? So, we work with patterns all the time. The only problem with uh, patterns in music is that you have to have an access key, right? You have to have some kind of a key to decode all of these chicken scratchings that are on the page, right? All the ink. And um, that oftentimes can create a barrier, right? That if you don't have access to an education in learning about interpreting musical markings, there's a barrier. And part of my career at St. Cloud State has been working with the students in a manner to try and remove some of these barriers. And that we can share a musical experience, we're going to do that today. So we're going to break down that barrier and we're going to get you to engage in making things happen. So one of the things that um, came about rather modern recently, but actually dates back to the Middle Ages, is the idea of guitar tab. Do we have any uh, guitarists in the house? Raise your hand really big. Right? Right? Do you read guitar tab? Kind of? Okay. So it's a pretty cool system where the lines that go horizontal across the parades are, are literally just the strings of the guitar. And the numbers are the frets. Which fret do you put your finger on? so you know what string, what fret, and the little dashes represent rhythmic pulse. So you can kind of get rhythm and location and get your note and make your melody happen without having to read or have that key, the understanding of how to read music. So when I was talking with Brian, I said, you know what, there's this really great drummer, Billy Martin. Billy Martin is the drummer for a group called Modesky Martin and Wood. And um, they're kind of a new age modern jazz group. They deal a lot with freely improvised jazz. And I am a, a jazz drummer, so I work in the world of free improvisation. I'm also a classical musician, so I work a lot in free improvisation in the classical vein. And I really love the crazy intersections that happen when you listen to what seems like chaotic random things. And your brain does something to make connections. Things start firing and popping and you hear things. And you go, oh, that was a cool moment. Did you hear the way that thing did this and the way that thing bounced off of that? I love that about freely improvised music. So does Billy. So Billy had spent time in the uh, Southwest um, United States and in the desert, he was struck by the sound of stridulation, the crickets and the rubbing of the legs on their bodies and that stridulation created these really magical happenings in his brain. And so he set to composing um, 13 different compositions called stridulations. And they all use this notation that we're going to use today. So, are you ready to play with me? Yeah. Right? We're going to create a barrier-free, randomized social engagement activity. We're going to get to know each other a little bit. All right? So, I want to get to know all of you, and I want you to get to know each other. So, um, you need to think of four things in order to be in the orchestra. Okay? And the first thing you want to think about is your name, right? It could be your name. It could be your nickname. You know, it could be a cultural reference, maybe a Tanana, whatever. Think about how you want to be named. Also, think about how do you identify. Am I a parent? Am I a father? You know, am I an explorer? 
Am I an adventurer? Am I a teacher? Think about how you identify, all right? Think about your mission in life. This would be the third thing you need to think about. How would you define your mission in just a couple of words? You know, spread love, spread peace, whatever. What's your mission in life? And the fourth thing is if you had one wish, think about just a couple of things. How would you articulate that in one or two words? One wish, if you had one wish, all right? So, this is what your score, this is what your music is going to look like, all right? So you have three zones that you can play in, these little playgrounds, all right? And they have X's and dots. Now, a dot is a moment of silence. You'd count to maybe 10, slowly, okay? Count to yourself, not out loud, thank you very much. And, <laughs> and just really pause and listen. We don't listen very often. Sometimes we just want to talk. So you just want to listen to everybody around you. And an X is when you get to give your response. Okay, so we're going to practice this once. I want you to choose one of the playgrounds. You read left to right, okay? And when there's a dot, you pause and count to 10. When there's an X, you shout loudly so the whole theater can hear your response and celebrate you as part of this orchestra playing your note very strongly, right? Now, you can repeat your cell if you want, go back to the beginning again, or you could move on to another cell if you want. There's a lot of freedom, okay? How we're going to practice this is I want you to think of your favorite food. All right? What's your favorite food, okay? Now, when I raise my hand, I want you to follow your musical score, and I want you to shout out your favorite food. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. Let's give a round of applause for our first performance. Now, you can tell that with this many people in the room, we might have to pause longer before we reiterate the X. So let's make the dots a little bit longer, maybe 15 seconds, before then the next item. So are you ready? Let's play. OK, so I'm just going to advance the slides and you're going to change your responses based on those four questions we reviewed, okay? So the first one's gonna be your name, and you'll see the prompt on the screen, okay? Let's see what this sounds like. Here we go.
Let's all say it together. World peace. Thank you for playing along. Say hello to your neighbor, introduce yourself, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.